sleep dank on the line. What's up, man? Yeah, that's what it is. What's up with you, man? Oh, just chilling, man. How, how you been, big dog? Oh, I've been crazy, bro. You know, the train never stopped rolling, man. There's tracks everywhere, man. You know, I'm just trying to be a part of everybody. How you doing, man? Oh, just, you know, just trying to stay busy, man. So let's get into what you, what you have done, like your history, man. This is my dude Sleep Dank on the phone. Let, let's talk about what you've done in, in, your, in, in your history in music. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. For sure, you know, everybody think I came from other days, but you know what I'm saying, I'm really from Young Black, the Young Black Brother era, you know what I'm saying, it's yeah. all Mac Dre first releases, you know, I'm an artist from the Crest Side, you know what I'm saying, Sleep Thing, you know what I'm saying, Diggs, Doobie, you know, I'm from that cut though crawl, yeah. so you know, I got like 10 CDs nationwide in stores from all the way from the beginning of 2000 all the way up to now, you can look on Amazon.com, and type in Sleep Dank, all my nationwide releases will come up. You can Google the name Sleep Dank, everything will come up. Shows, YouTube, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm way back, bro. That's what's up. So, so um, let's talk about your uh, history with Mac Dre. How did you get uh, hooked up with Mac Dre? Well, it was really a, it was a really a hookup thing. It was just like, you know what I'm saying? We was from the same neighborhood. Okay. You know, and when Dre came, Coolio and Dr Mac Dre was doing their thing. I grew up around all that. You mm -hmm. know, we had the, uh, another Mac that was famous, had the cameo play, mm -hmm. and then it came to Mac Dre. So I was like, it was like in the water in the crest to do music, you feel me? So mm -hmm. I was just one of the lucky rappers that he gave a chance and took it serious, you feel me? Yeah, what is like? Uh, give me like the top two things that you that you learned from Mac Dre because he was a really hard worker. Um, I've been a lot. I've been on all his albums all the way up to like Genie and the Lamp, and then a couple of ones after that. Mm. You know what I mean? I did a lot of work. You know, he really took me serious as a a real quest side rapper because you know I mostly showed and proved to Dre when I when everybody was all under him, I was still able to drop solo albums. By myself, so he loved it, my business yeah. uh, side of me. You know, he loved it, my go get. So he really took me serious, and the brother really believed in me. And you know, he used to call me for first verses. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what's yeah, up, the man. Brother used to call me. You feel me? Sleep, yeah. I need you. That's what's up. So, so my question is, what is your most memorable moment with with, with Mac Dre? My most memorable moment uh, was one time uh, in Las Vegas. We did a show in Las Vegas. Yeah. And, uh, and he was trying to ghost ride. And uh, <laughs> I was in the back seat. And he was getting mad because his foot kept slipping. You know how the car would be moving, but you don't want to... Every time he get out, he was tripping. So he, it was just funny to watch that because he was kind of... He didn't know he was clumsy. Tell me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that Dre, you know, Dre was a good dude. But Dre, you know, he was... Just kind of a little bit clumsy, and it was funny just to watch him keep trying to get out the car to go ride it. <laughs> so I just thought that was hella funny. That's what's up, man. So, so you yeah. you doing uh, music with Mac Dre? Give me like your top two favorite songs you've done with him. My top two is uh, uh, one of his uh, songs on Think Stupid Do Dumb uh -huh. Pros We Like to Crush. It's in other words, but I can't cut it. Okay. And then it was a one called Rap Life. Uh huh. That me and Mac Dre did, you know what I mean? Yeah. I did, I did, it was fun working with him, you know what I'm saying? Because it was like, everybody, like back then, it was like too short and iced tea. And when Mac Dre came around, I like let them go. I had my own famous star in the hood, you feel me? Yeah. That's what's, yeah, that's, so that's what's like, Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I mean, Dre taught me a lot, bro. He told me, you know, you learn how to rap, I can get you off the streets and get you out of state and start getting you paid. And I start taking it serious. And that's how I was able to get nationwide. That's how I was able to get out and get a nationwide fan base by just, you know what I'm saying, going with my credit out to show and yeah. getting my, being able to put my thing on. That's what's up. So so what are you what are you doing now, man? Oh, right now, man, I got a lot going, you know what I'm saying? The game looking funny and weak to me right now. <laughs> so I gotta come back into the arena. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So I got two new CDs that I got coming out in September. Mm -hmm. One called Still King of My City, you know what I'm saying? That's on like a, you know, that's on my, you know, I've been dropping releases 10 years. Everybody usually need help to drop them or got to go under a label. And I do my own business. I don't need no help. So I'm 10 years still dropping with no help. Wow. So it's really like a Still King of dropping these CDs, you mm -hmm. feel me? And you know, I'm really just trying to take my place. 
That's if what's up. Ain't nobody gonna try to be the king, then I go for it. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So, what can we look out for for you from you? Uh, right now, I got my two. Uh, I got the two my two new releases: Tough Guy Music mm. Volume One and uh, and Still King of My City, which I got uh, Am Pacino, Yuck Mouth, San Quinn, Ryder J. Clyde. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Doom the Killer Keys, Home Wrecker, Coolio the Underdog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just an out the box, you know what I'm saying? CD that's just going to have a new new breath. You're going to have a new, fresher breath of air of rap, of rap music. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Let's get into yeah. your links. Anybody that wants to holler at you, follow you, what are your links, man? Your Twitters, Facebooks, MySpace, YouTubes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can hit me at The Real Sleep Tank, D A. Uh, D A R E A L S L E E P D A N K. Yeah. And those, yeah, and that's that's the Twitter. You know what I'm saying? And then you, you know, just anybody that's listening out there, Google my name, Sleep Tank, one letter. Google it, YouTube it. You'll find out everything. You'll find out all my albums. If you yeah. want to cop them, they up on any internet record store site. Yeah. There's just a lot with me, bro. That I ain't even finished yet. Most definitely, man. We're going to look into the future because I know we're going to be doing an, a, a live interview. You're going to be coming in to KCRH. I just wanted to, you know, let everybody know he coming. Yeah, I mean. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. The Islamically speaking. That's Islam. Yeah. You got any shout outs yeah. out there? You got any shout outs for anybody? Uh, yeah, I got to give a shout out to you, man. Yeah. And all your listeners, man. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? And all the supporters of Bay Area Music. You know what I'm saying? And, man, let's keep the ball rolling, man. Everybody got something to offer, so check me out. Sleep Tank, S-L-E-E-P-D-A-N-K. I was on Mac and Speaks, Louder Than Words, couple Doobie albums, Diggs albums, Black Sea albums. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. moving 